ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Mike Keller. He is the father of Anna Duggar, and you know, the reality show. Anyway, you know, her husband, and in fact, his son-in-law is a pedophile, right? So I want you to listen to him romanticize about slavery. And see, this is one of the big reasons why they want to erase slavery, uh, the history from everywhere, so that they can give these very false romanticizing versions of what slavery was all about. And nothing this man said is even accurate not one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Years ago, or 200 years ago, when the blacks were slaves, did they ever go to Washington, D.C. and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's have, let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways and God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? They didn't protest. 150 years ago, or 200 years ago, when the blacks were slaves, did they ever go to Washington, D.C. and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's ha let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways. And God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? They didn't. So you heard what Pastor Mike Keller said. So it sparked a lot of outrage, especially over on TikTok. Now he goes on to saying the slaves did not protest. So in other words, you know, um, y'all shut up and do as the slaves did. They didn't go out and protest. But see, Mike here is completely off the mark on that. The slaves did protest. It was called slave revolts. You might want to look that one up, Mike, instead of romanticizing about what went on. Yeah, they did protest. They had slave revolts. That was their version of protest. And then he talked about, oh, well, let's just, for you good people, let's go build a church. Well, who would have built the church? The slaves. Okay. First of all, most of those slaves did not have church. They had their church right on them plantations where they worked. Okay, they, they didn't have no special church. Many of them didn't. So he is definitely denying a lot of what slavery was like. And then he was like, oh, and then they turned from their evil ways. Okay, so the slaves turned from their evil ways, but the owners didn't have to do that. So the slaves were evil and wicked. They had to turn away from their ways, but the owners were good people because that's what he said. The slaves were wicked, but the owners were good. They were good people. 
that sounds like I'm white and I say so. That's what that sounds like. That's what. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. And it's amazing how people like him, they get so upset when the black community will go out and protest. But people like him will never say one thing about the insurrection. He won't mention it. That's how they are. They will just gloss over that or act like it didn't even happen. But I guess he think the insurrection, um, that was invisible to him. So the only protest, um, we need to just be quiet like our forefathers and we don't, you know, rock the boat and go out and protest. Now, first of all, Slaves fought where they were mistreated. That's how they did it back then. Wherever they were mistreated, that's where they had their uprising. Why would they go to a whole different location to protest where they weren't mistreated? I'm just saying. So the father of a Christian reality star, Anna Dug uh, Duggar, uh, you know, her husband is serving a prison sentence for child pornography. Yeah, that's his son-in-law. You know, maybe you need to focus on that and focus a lot less on uh, Black people and, and what they did 200 years ago. And then you're standing there giving this completely inaccurate account of slavery. And then you talking about they taught them how to read and that read the bible that is not what they did that is not what they did in fact many would get harmed killed and even um you know they would be tortured if they were caught reading he act like they sat them down and they just coddled the slave and loved the slave and taught them how to read it. Oh, you're such good people. We're going to build stuff for you. Oh, that, that mess didn't happen. That didn't happen. So he was a guest preacher, y'all, at Fair Park Baptist Church in Fort Worth, Texas on Sunday when he gave this sermon. <laughs> Oh, man, that church should have asked him to leave. But I, I I, would guess the congregation more than likely looked just like him. That's why he was able to stand there and give that kind of sermon. Mm -mm -mm. So Keller directed the congregation to Second Chronicles about King Solomon's prayer for wisdom in their Bibles. And uh, 150 years ago or 200 years ago, when blacks were slaves, did they ever go protest in Washington, D.C. or have a rally? Well, no, they had something called um, uprisings. <laughs> That's what they had. Boy, you really missed the mark on that one. Then Keller explained his unfactual version of history. No, it's not unfactual. He stood there and falsified history. That's what he did do. And then he said that good people on the plantations, he's talking about the enslavers, good people. No, none of you MFers are good people and barely good people today. So anyway, <laughs> and that's the truth. Built churches for enslaved people. Actually, no, they didn't. Most of them had church right there on those plantation fields, y'all. They did. They did. And I remember hearing this from the people in my family. They did not have, those churches in many places didn't come until later. But during slavery, the pastor would show up on the plantation and they would have church right there in them same fields that they worked. 
So no, they didn't get together and we just love our slaves and we just want to do right by them. We're going to help build a church so they can worship. That did not happen. Okay, so, and then he said the slaves humbled themselves and they prayed and they sought God's face and turned away from their wicked ways. Well, what wicked ways did they have other than work from sunup to sundown? What wicked ways? Is this dude insane? I mean, he's implying the slaves were wicked. But the slave owners, they, those were good people. You listen to this nonsense? So anyway, black people were forbidden to read. And we all know that. And they could not worship the way they wanted to. Remember, there were only certain sermons that the preacher, a black preacher, could preach to the enslaved. They couldn't even do things their own way. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what he said. God made slavery illegal. Several white presidents later. Yeah, really? Oh, that just sounds so generous there, Mike Keller. <laughs> How generous of you. Bastard. So anyway, Keller seemingly unaware of black conductors on the Underground Railroad that helped others that were enslaved to freedom. Yes. Okay. Those slaves ran away long before Abraham Lincoln came along. They, they were running away the entire time slavery was going on. The entire time. So even they weren't sitting around waiting for several white presidents later for, for freedom. They were seeking it anyway. Okay. They were seeking it anyway. And there were hundreds of slave rebellions that took place in the United States. And of course, they have not even mentioned a fraction of them in history, y'all. There were constantly uprisings and these uprisings occurred all the time, but they have completely just struck them from the history, you would think they were just scared and shaking and just doing their jobs every day. That's what they make it seem like. And it was not like that at all. Now, you, you can find some history out there that will tell the truth about that. But so anyway, let's go on. So, um, ironically, Keller said he personally prays to God for money to buy books. Well, let's hope that he will buy some real history books <laughs> that tells the history and not this made up fairy tale that he stood there and told in the church, because that's exactly what he did. I'm pretty sure running away from a form of protest, a TikToker said, regarding the baffling sermon. This is why they don't want books and actual history taught. Yeah, they don't, because then they can tell their BS version of what happened. And of course, they're going to always tell it in a way where the slaves just obeyed and the masters, they were just good people down on the ranch. And it was not like that at all. So did he really just blame black people for being slaves and then make white people out to be their saviors? That's exactly what he did. He told a white savior story. <laughs> That's what he did. Yeah, they haven't put in a, a, a white savior movie out lately. They used to put them out once a, once a year. You know, the white man, the white woman come and save these black people from themselves. They haven't done that in a while. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's what he did. So this is why we need CRT, critical race theory, another person wrote. So he told a bastardized historical account of enslavement. Keller also used his sermon to rail against California 
um, Freedoms and Praise Florida, Ron DeSantis, and Texas Governor Greg Abbott for being God fearing. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Wow. But this preacher is a complete joke and he's dry on top of that he's really not exciting standing at the altar y'all know what i mean because you know a black preacher got some energy he'd be throwing all kinds of energy out when he's preaching this dude he could put you in a damn coma so anyway please tell me what you think about this video this was pretty hilarious please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.